this year in 2022 uh, I always really enjoyed these kind of ASMR videos so that's why I also wanted to do one um, I will tap a lot on books I will tell my opinion about them I will maybe like read the blurb if because I feel like
Stand better and how really, really terrible. 
says enough about the story, but it's mainly about a girl who is, lives in France around 1700, who is like so desperate, I don't remember why she was so desperate, that she made a deal with like a kind of like devil, which she was not aware that it really was a devil, she thought it was mainly more like a god, I believe, or like an evil god, but like a god, so they could not be the devil.
local like story is that the author like describes some certain outfit that the main character uh, wears, and I don't know if um like I, I do this. I don't know if it's like I feel like it's somehow not like a common thing, but I always imagine myself. <laughs> Sometimes she wears them like on special occasions or something. Most of the times, those outfits are what I think so ugly, like a 2012 type of clothing. Maybe it's also written in 2012. I don't know. But like, it's so so. This one says, uh, well, this one says, well, this one says 2020. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but uh, probably prefaced 2020. I don't know. Anyway, it's just really.
has a hundred thousand dollar reward at stake and her best and most fearless friend Daisy is eager to investigate so together they navigate the short distance and plot divides to separate them from Russell Pickett's son David <laughs> Davis Ace has trying she's trying to be a good daughter she's a good friend and a good student and maybe even a good detective while also living within the advertising spiral of her own thoughts. John Green, the acclaimed number one international best-selling author of Looking for Alaska and the 14 Hour Stars, shares Asa's story with shattering the flinching clarity in this brilliant novel of love, resilience, resilience and the power of lifelong friendship. Thank you. 
first book within two days <laughs> every year I have one book that would like in one or two days and this year that was pretty quick and because I was so obsessed with the first book I immediately paused the rest of them um, but that was a slightly mistake <laughs> um, because
reason why I love this book is that the multiple love interest of this book are perfect. <laughs> like both of them, like not just one. So I am now rooting for one person in this book that I was in the beginning not. Uh, but like both are just perfect. Like I just love them both. The second one is is that it's very zero knowledge about that and I think it's so interesting to read about that um, like to learn more about how they like what they have to do every day or like in some certain days for her like this very normal thing but I don't know anything about it but for them like it's a very normal thing that happens I don't know. <laughs>
extra time to get together all the information that I'm reading. Um, so I started in 2020. I put it down for one and a half year and three weeks ago I picked it up again because I I saw it like, like standing in my bookcase on my bookcase again. Um, and I'm like, I have to finish it. I have to finish it. Joel Ray 
says the ending. Uh, but yeah, I think it's funny how you still have kind of like hope it's not gonna happen or something. So I think that's which that makes the story fun. <laughs> it's not a fun ending, obviously.
was just writing about his life pretty much to someone that I like, don't know, which was a bit weird. But okay, this story is so annoying, so I'm just gonna tell the ending too. But in the end, uh, he finds, found, finds out that his aunt uh, sexually abused him while well, she was also sexually abused. I believe the code was like quoted 